town hall meeting in, um, here at the Josiah Quincy School. Uh, we have all the different city departments that are here. Uh, people from the community can come out and, and, and talk to any department they want, so we're actually bringing City Hall to the neighborhood. My name is William G. Gross. I'm your 42nd Boston Police Commissioner. Okay. Since it's Black History Month, I'm your first African-American Boston Police Commissioner because many people of all ethnicities paved the way for me. So what you see here tonight are all of the mayor's cabinet, cabinet heads. So you have your first responder family as well as city governance because the mayor strongly believes in we go to the people, not the other way around. My name is Herb Bond and I work for the Office of Workforce Development. And we like to have multiple programs totally free and available to everyone in the 23 neighborhoods of Boston. Um, from continuing education to vocational trade school to recruiting for workforce development programs like EMT and CDL drivers. Right now, uh, our main goal is to recruit for CDL drivers uh, as well as EMT personnel for Boston EMS. Uh, right now, we need a influx of both for both programs. I think we like to say we're the first line of defense for City Hall, so uh, we do constituent services for everyone in Boston. Anything that you have an issue with, you can, uh, you know, call into City Hall 311, and um, we'll be able to take care of that. Whether that's like from potholes or questions about trash collection to, uh, you know, any issue that comes up. I'm from the Boston Registry for Birth, Death, and Marriage, and this is Jen. She works with us as a high school student, and we have birth, death, and marriage records back to 1630. The great part is that we want to get word out to people that we now have online options so you don't have to come in City Hall to get it. If you were born in Boston, had a marriage license in Boston, or a person passed away, we'll have the records and you can order them online. Much easier, $14.56 online, and we get it out within two days. My name's Glenn Williams. I'm the general manager of Boston Neighborhood Network, which is the city's television and radio stations. We've uh, been in existence since 1984. It's the PEG Access Station. They're all across the country, and what they do is it's public so that people have an opportunity to freedom of speech, have a space where they can go and talk about issues that are theirs, and it's also education, where we bring education from the schools and we have homework, help for kids after school. And I think one of the really important parts of PEG Access is this G, government. We put cameras in the city hall, city council chambers, we put them in, in the school committee rooms while they're having their meetings, ways and means. We we also have a radio station now. We're on WBCA 102.9 FM on Boston's community radio station. So we also, we're covering the radio, we're covering two television, three television stations. The Boston Parks Department has 2,300 uh, acres of open space throughout the city. So areas of parks, playgrounds, areas walking paths all throughout the city. So we're a place that everyone can come together, feel welcome in open space, a safe place for everyone to come, whether it's for athletics or for just taking a walk in the park. We're here to serve every single neighborhood, and we have 331 properties throughout the city. At the Boston Home Center, we have a number of programs for homeowners and home buyers in the city of Boston. We offer down payment and closing cost assistance for first time home buyers. We have a lottery program where you can maybe purchase an affordable unit from us um, at a reduced purchase price. Uh, in the city of Boston, they're newly constructed units. We also offer uh, home repair services. So if you have maybe a furnace or a roof, that need some repairs, we have financial assistance for that as well. We also have a foreclosure prevention uh, hotline, so if you get in trouble with your mortgage, give us a call and we can assist you with some counseling services. We also have our expo coming up um, shortly. It's going to be March 14th, Saturday at the Reggie Lewis Center. We'll have all of the lenders that we're partnered with, I believe there's 28 of them now, um, there to talk to folks about mortgage products. Um, we'll have workshops and classes available, we'll have a homeowner. Uh, 100 workshop so folks can find out about owning a home, buying a home, the process of buying a home. Uh, we're going to have a uh, lend, uh, panel for home buyers so they can talk to a realtor, a lender, home inspector, attorney, and somebody from our staff about the home buying process, ask questions. It's going to be an open panel discussion. So tons of information at the expo. It's Kristen McCosh. I'm the Disability Commissioner for the City of Boston. And my office works to help people with disabilities uh, access everything in the city, whether it's um, physical access or communication access or uh, access.
access to services in City Hall. We're here to kind of be a go-between to make sure people can have all the uh, access they need to city services. Uh, my name is Robert Santiago. I'm the Commissioner of Veteran Services for the City of Boston. Well, what we do here, what we do is uh, we are a one-stop shop for all our veterans who call the City of Boston home, and we provide them with the services and benefits and programs that they uh, earned, and we also advocate for them in their time of need. One of our major programs is uh, called Chapter 115. We're the only state in the country that offers a benefits program for our veterans, and I'm very proud of that, yes. We have what's called Operation Thank a Vet, and what we do is we don't wait for the veterans to come to us. We reach out and go to our veterans in the communities, and we do that every year between March and November, and uh, our first one is going to be in Roslindale in, uh, next month. My name is Luigi Lalane, and I work for the Mayor's Office for Immigrant Advancement. And what we do is pretty much bringing stability, integration, and civic ownership to the different immigrant communities across the greater Boston. So in general, that's what we do. One of the biggest initiatives that we have right now are our immigration clinics, which happen every first and third Wednesday of the month, where volunteer immigration lawyers come and attend constituents for up to 15 minutes. And they give them advice on how to fill out papers. They tell them how to fill out papers, and if they need further help, they just refer them to pro bono legal organizations across the greater Boston where they could get the services that they need. So in a nutshell, that's what we do. Citizens that come in here might, might come in here with a, an understanding to talk about one topic, and they realize they can talk about, you know, veteran services, immigrant advancement, women advancement, um, Age Strong Commission, all the city departments are here tonight. So workforce development, the water and sewer development, everything is here. So people can come on and get a feel for what the city's all about.